Hey, this is not Young Cabbage with a guide on the best experience farming spot in the game. There's a written guide in the description if you just want a quick guide to building the best Pokemon to farm the spot. The Horde location is in Mount Silver, so if you haven't completed the OT Pokedex, you need to do so before you are able to access this location. It's right here next to the Poke Center that you can fly directly into. And it is a 50-50 spot between Dodrio and Donphan. But you'll see here pretty quickly that not just any Pokemon can farm this Horde. Reason being is they're very bulky and Donphan has sturdy. So it'll take two hits in order for any regular Pokemon to one hit KO Donphan. There are two options to break sturdy. The first is reactive gas with wheezing, but I'll just eliminate wheezing immediately, just saying that Sludge Wave does not do enough damage to reliably clear both hordes. The second is a Mold Breaker Pokemon, and there are three options to pick from Rampardos, Haxorus, and Exadrill. And if you just look at the base stats of each of these, it'll seem like some sort of physical attacking multi-target move will be the best option. An obvious choice is Exadrill with its Stab Earthquake and Massive Attack stat should be pretty good. The problem is the Dodrios are flying type and immune to Earthquake damage, so you need something like Rock Slide, and then things start to get complicated where Rock Slide has a missed chance and it just ends up being much less efficient. So then there's Haxorus and Rampardos, and both interestingly have access to Surf. So if we run the damage calcs on that, it looks like a Rampardos or Haxorus should be able to faint any Don fan, even if it has 31 HP, 31 special defense, and a plus special defense nature, uh, reliably, even with the horde damage reduction, just because that surf is super effective and it's also going to clear the Dodrios as well. If we check the Don fan held item though, it has a chance to hold a Pasho Berry that reduces super effective water type damage. Now, if we rerun the calculations on that, it seems like bulky, especially defensive Don fans will survive the surf. The question is, how many? If we look at their base stats again, you'll see that Rampardos has a slightly higher special attack at 65 compared to Haxorus at 60. And so the obvious answer is bigger number better, but I wanted to figure out exactly how much better is a Rampardos compared to Haxorus. So I wrote a script to calculate it, and without going too much into the details, I just wrote a loop that got the probability of a one-hit chance for every possible combination that a Wild Dawn fan can roll across its possible stats, HP, and special defense, and what nature it has, and then of course the chance that it holds a Pasho Berry. We don't know exactly what the held rate is for that, but after over-testing a thousand Dawn fans with the help of my teammate Matthias, I have a 95% confidence interval that the held rate is somewhere between 3.1% and 5.3%. So let's just assume for uh, ease of math that that is 5%. Then it comes out to be a 97.4% chance for Rampardos to faint a Don fan if it is holding a Pasho Berry, and a 93.6% chance for Hexorus. If we factor in the chance that you can critically hit a Don fan with a Pasho Berry, it ends up being that a Rampardos will one hit 827 out of 828 wild Don fans, while Hexorus only will one hit 334 out of 335. So Rampardos is almost two and a half times better than Hexorus, but obviously this is pretty marginal. Where Rampardos does take the clear edge is the fact that it takes only 600k experience to level up to 100, while Hexorus takes 1.25 million, so almost twice as much. So that's why I recommend Rampardos for this specific job, as it takes almost half the time to get to level 100. An optimal Rampardos for this use case needs 31 special attack with either modest, mild, or rash nature boosting its special attack. It needs 31 special attack IV. Speed IV doesn't really matter all that much as long as you just put a full speed EV investment, and that really only comes into play while you're leveling the Rampardos. And the only move that it really needs is Surf. Um, there's plenty of other things that you can do and add on to this Rampardos, but I haven't found any other use cases for it. You could also potentially go mixed attacking and have some other use for it. I haven't found one, but there's a lot of stuff that you can do. But if you're just looking for the specific use case, I'd just go with the special attack and speed. Once you fully EV, Once you've fully EV trained your Rampardos, the best way to level it is to begin leveling itself on hordes that are weak to surf damage. And the earliest one it can start to clear reliably itself is the Heatmore Horde, as you're seeing here in Victory Road in 
Unova. And so if you head down the route that I just followed in Sweet Scent, you'll encounter this horde and Rampardos will be able to clear this horde reliably at around level 48 or 49 it should outspeed and one hit KO the vast majority of them. Then at a, around level 59 to 60, Rampardos can clear the Rapidash hordes over here. Uh, I believe this is Route 9 in Unova. Route 12, rather. And it, Surf will be able to reliably clear those Rapidashes around 59 to 60. If you didn't EV invest in speed, you may be a bit too slow at those levels, but otherwise this will be the horde of choice until your Rampardos hits close to level 100, at which point you could probably switch to the Dawn fans or just stick with the Rapid Ashes. Now, technically speaking, this spot is only 50-50 during the day. So if you come at night, it will be a 100% Dawn fan horde and slightly more experience as the Dawn fan hordes give a bit more experience than the Dodrio hordes. Now, technically, an Exodrill with Ur Earthquake would clear 100% of Dawn fan hordes at night, but it is so much more expensive than a Rampardos and only slightly more efficient it's just better to bring a Rampardos, in my opinion. And a fun little tidbit, the very first Donphan horde that I cleared had a Donphan that survived my Rampardos surf. It was holding a Pasho Berry, and it had 24 HP IV, 21 Special Defense IV, and the highest possible level at 62. So that gave it enough bulk to survive the surf. And that's pretty much in line with the calculations that I found that about 1 in 800 Donphans will survive surf. And one quick thing before I close out the video, once Basculin has its hidden ability added to the game, which is Moldbreaker, it will become the best option for clearing these hordes, though it'll be ever so slightly better than Rampardos. We're talking 1 in 800 Don fans surviving, so don't necessarily wait for Basculin. Just go ahead and make your Rampardos. So that's going to do it for the video. I hope this was helpful. It seems like a lot of people are aware that Rampardos is the best option, but I just wanted to get the math out there because I thought it was pretty fun to calculate and sort of get a clear resource for people that weren't aware uh, so that it could be referenced. You can send this to your friends, let them know Rampardos is the best option once they unlock Mount Silver. So just want to say thank you very much for watching and good luck with your XP grinding.